why is it any more of a performance benefit than fired overrun? You know, at the end of the day, Renault is allowed to fired overrun, but it can't for reliability purposes. If you can, if you can operate your engine in the same way as the Renault, then you're welcome to do it. The secondary effect, um, I think, it is wrong to suggest that there is a, a benefit beyond beyond that. No, but clearly, if you've got under braking, a throttle is right fifty percent, then it's a it's a reasonable benefit. There's a lot of gas going through, and uh, I imagine that all engines will end up doing that, which I think isn't what was envisaged when it was said we're going to stop engine blowing. Where, where is the difference between firing on overrun and creating? So, so Mercedes engines aren't firing on overrun. Uh, they've been constrained, uh, as you as you know. As so, overrun, yeah. So uh, I think. Providing the constraints are the same for everyone, but I think it is clearly the fact that having this discussion is messy, and uh, I, I think the, the the intention people believed was that, that we were going to stop exhaust blowing uh, when you when the driver didn't have his foot on the throttle. I think that was the simple concept, um, but that concept has been uh, deflected, and uh, therefore it hasn't been clear. And the fact that these things were only uh, coming out during the course of today is fairly extraordinary, uh, but nonetheless, I think I'm sure we'll uh, remain calm and pick our way through. But uh, I think it's probably better to make changes to the regulations between seasons, not in season, and also make changes to regulations which are clear and un unambiguous. And uh, you know, I think at the moment a lot of people clearly getting uh, emotional about the situation, and I, and I can understand why it's frustrating for the engineers not to know uh, what is it we're allowed to do because you know these changes you know by cold blowing you're getting 30 40 points of extra downforce rear downforce in braking and that's a quite an attractive thing so if you can do it then you're going to try and do it aren't you? you also get that from let's not make any mistake here that firing on overrun the thrust that that generates through the exhaust creates a bigger effect so let's just be absolutely clear on that. Yeah, and that's why it's been largely contained. And, and a lot of those strategies, as you know, are not permissible now. But at least they, it wasn't when I came in here. Maybe they, maybe it's emerged as I've been saying. Well, yes, maybe that, we've been I doing. Think, <laughs> maybe think, you know more about than I do. I, don't know, I mean, I just <laughs> I read the technical directive that said four-cylinder, you know, fired overrun was permissible for certain, um, you know, competitors, and that's and that I think includes your engine. So. Um, you know, as far as we understood before Renault were allowed, you know, their parameters, obviously there was a significant advantage going to any Mercedes powered team. As you can see, it's a massively complex subject. I think the one thing that Martin and I will agree on is that it should have been addressed at the end of the year, but um, unfortunately, here we are.